guys, today we're reacting to Thomas and Friends Old and Fast. So I've been, as you've seen, I've reacted to the, this guy's YouTube videos on my page a couple times. And I wasn't sure if I'd reacted to this one yet. And I checked and it wasn't on there. I typed in reacting to Thomas and Friends Old and Fast. I checked Make YouTube video and it wasn't there. It just it wasn't there. So I figured, OK, let's react to this one because I love this guy's videos. They are so funny. I can't help but laugh. It's like, oh, I find it funny. I just find it funny. Anyways, let's get started. Edward is an old and kind. He works hard and has plenty of experience on the island of so That being the case, however, his age meant he was not as fast as he used to be. This used to discourage the wise engine, but he soon realized that he didn't have to be a strong, fast engine to be really useful. Other engines, of course, knew this too and had a great deal of respect for Edward and his determination. Even the more boastful engines like Gordon respected him. Although, there will be many times where Gordon brings up Edward's old age without any intention of doing so. I don't like Gordon. I'm sorry, I know I said this every time in my videos, but I just don't like him. I've never liked him. Let me know in the comments, who is the engine or diesel you hated the most in Thomas and Friends? For me, it would have to be Gordon. Gordon was just always so disrespectful, so prideful, didn't care about anyone but himself. And when it, he did care... It was rare to see from him. So again, let me know in the comments, who's the engine or diesel you hate the most in the Thomas and Friends series? And he did so one morning in Nafford Station. It feels great to be a fast, <sighs> strong engine, he boasted. A strong engine such as myself can handle all the weight of these coaches. And my speed is simply unmatched by any others here. You may have been one of the best in your time, Edward, but times do change. James happened to be nearby. Edward may be old, he began, but he caught up to me when I was out of control. He may not be as strong as any of us, but his determination will leave any of us surprised. Gordon huffed, feeling slightly offended. An old engine like Edward? Give him me a run for my money. Pa! The guards whistle blue. Yeah, puff with Gordon your eyes. Set off. Yeah, puff with your eyes closed, Gordon. Like that's not gonna get Edward you into an laughed. accident. He's right, you know. Even in my prime, I'd never be anything like him. And that, Edward Edward. Set off his own passengers. See, I feel like if we all acted like Edward does when Gordon bullies him and is mean to him, we we would not only feel better but about ourselves, but we wouldn't care about what people thought of us. The next day, Edward was sent to the harbor to pick up special cargo. Much to his surprise, it was the jet engine. No! No! Remember the last time what happened when there was a jet engine? No! I already don't like this! The last time a jet engine happened, and it's one of my favorite episodes, Thomas goes past Gordon. He's like, hi, Gordon. Bye, Gordon. Oh, uh, no. No. Not again. No. Oh, I hope nothing bad happens this time. Edward was most impressed as he backed down and coupled up to the jet engine. Okay. I'm sorry to say, however, one of the cleaners was skittish and jumped at the sound of the old as it came in, whistling loudly. That's a beauty, exclaimed Ben. What a sight to... He was cut off as there was an odd sound. What's that sound? asked Bill. Oh, no! That sound was the gen engine turning on. The skittish cleaner had fallen over and actually turned on the switch. Not By the time again! they realized what had happened, it was too late. Edward down the line. I knew it. I knew something bad was going to happen. I I was just kidding around. I didn't think that would happen. Like, I feel like this is kind of a copy of Thomas and the Jet Engine. But anyways, let's continue. Help! Hold on, Edward, and she sped off. So he's going pretty fast. See Edward speed and all. Oh, no, we cried. Edward is too old of an engine to handle that high a speed. If he keeps up, he'll fall apart. 
Yeah, that's not good. Gordon was at Wellsworth when the station master came up. Is it gonna be like last time where everyone's like, hi Gordon, bye Gordon? <laughs> Is that what it was gonna be like? Is it gonna be like last time? Because that would be funny. A panting. What's the matter? Asked the driver. The jet engine has taken Edward, he exclaimed pantedly. You need to catch up to him and stop him. He boarded Gordon's cab as he was quickly uncoupled from his train. He then set off quickly down the line to get it up speed. Oh, so now he's helping. Gordon now he down can. the line as fast as he could. Eventually heard Edward speed it up, getting very close behind him. We only have one chance, called out the station master. The station master pulled out a hook and leaned out from the cab. The fireman holding on to him as he did. Oh, Edward oh. was soon overtaking Gordon slowly. Oh, Gordon's wheels pounded ferociously as he tried to keep up. The station master then got his hook around the lever and pulled, switching it off. Got it, he Ooh. exclaimed handsomely. The jet engine's flames died down, and soon Edward regained control, slowly coming to a stop. Poor Edward! The poor old engine was out of breath and felt very worn out. Poor Edward! Luckily, though, he wasn't damaged, and Gordon backed down onto Edward, coupling up to him. Oh, now he's being mad. We'll take you to the nearest water tower, said Gordon. You'll feel much better. Edward smiled and the two engines began puffing away. You know, said Gordon, James was right. You have a way of surprising us after. <laughs> okay, so like I said, these moments where Gordon becomes nice is rare, so it's like, that's a good way to end it. Anyways, guys, I'll see you on the next video. This is Gabriel101, signing out. Adios, everybody.